All right, this comes from some variety and it says Marvel's Blade removed from release calendar. Man, I saw this earlier this week. Earlier this week, it was said that Marvel's Blade was removed from the calendar and on hold indefinitely. We all know that that show, or that no, not that show, but that movie was going to be a shit show. You know it, I know it, everyone knows it. And the fact that Deadpool Wolverine is that the hurt is going to be another blade is like, is there's only going to be one blade and there's only ever going to be one blade? When that quote does it, it means so much more now. But oh my God, this is actually pretty crazy, man. When was this announced? Like 2019 or something? Look, th 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 there was a game that, um, there's a game I'm working on, and uh, we were supposed to release Blade like two uh, like two years ago, and it was never released because we tr we were trying to have it come out the same time, right? We were gonna we we're gonna co-brand Blade and uh in our game at the same time, but what happened was that the movie kept getting pushed out because it was just production hell, so it just never happened. See, the Daywalker will have to wait a bit longer to have his time in the sun. Disney has removed the Marvel reboot of Blade starring Mahershala Ali as the titular half-vampire from the release calendar. It was dated for November 7, 2025. Disney will instead release Predator Badlands, the sixth film in the otherworldly franchise, on the early November release date that was held by Blade. Meanwhile, Marvel added three untitled projects to the schedule for February 18th of 2028. Holy crap. May 5th, 2028 and May 10th, 2028. The comic book empire's decision to take Blade off of the docket was widely expected after Disney CEO Bob Iger stated in an earnings call on May 7th that Marvel will release a maximum of three movies a year of four superhero films Disney previously had slated for 2025, including Captain America, Brave New World, Thunderbolts, and the Fantastic Four First Dicks. Blade is the only project that hadn't started production. That makes sense. Right. And the thing is, just just bring back Wesley Snipes. Just just bring back Wesley Snipes, dude. Like, geez, man. It's just just. Wesley Snipe was was the biggest cheer and the biggest applause when I was in the theater watching Deadpool Wolverine. Just bring him back. I think it would have been fine. At least have some kind of like cameo or something like that. And you sort of pass the torch. I don't know. Look, Marvel has been doing this like multiverse thing for a long time already. So I don't see why not just do it this time. Blade passes the torch to a different blade. I don't know, but I'm not sure what they're going to do. But the thing is, this movie has been in production hell for the past four years. That's really, really bad. Holy crap. Uh, director Yan Demanje, is that how I say it? Uh, also exited the film in June, further delaying the film after a series of setbacks. Blade first jumped from a November 2023 to a September 2024 release after first director Bassam Tariq. Uh, departed in the see there you yeah you already lost two directors just 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 ax it screw it you know we all know disney hate black people just get, just get rid of it <laughs> look look okay we you know i know and everyone knows that this movie they're gonna when they're releasing china the poster comes out blade's gonna be in the fucking back and he's gonna have a mask on okay <laughs> Look, we all know that shit's going to happen, all right? So just let it happen. Who cares? No, it's over. It's over. Regular Marvel uh, scribe Eric Pearson has taken on screenwriting duties following passes by Michael Green, Stacey Osei Kufor, or Kufor, Michael Starbury, Bold. That's the gay guy. That's the gay guy. That has OnlyFans that made X Men 97. So, uh, given the various headaches and the roadblocks, Marvel didn't want to move forward with a blade that doesn't live up to the predecessors, according to insiders. Feige has said as much in prior interviews, noting that for of the last few years, we've been trying to crack that movie. The most important thing for us is not rushing it and making sure 
we are making the right Blade movie. Now, here's the thing. When he's saying that, he means that this Blade movie needs to be better than the first Blade movie that ever came out. I think I, I, that, I think that's it. It has to be better, right? It can't be on par. It has to be better. But the thing is, if they already lost so many, like they lost two directors already, I'm pretty sure they might lose a third. But this is this has been a shit show for Marvel for a long time. Say so right here over here, Marvel first announced a project in San Diego Comic Con 2019. Holy crap! I feel bad Mahersh for Mahersha Ali. I think he's a good actor. He's underutilized in if not everything that he's been in. Um, I've only seen him in like several things where right? he was Cottonmouth. He was Cottonmouth. He's already in the MCU. He was he was caught in mouth in uh, Luke Cage, okay. So and then he's he was also um, a side uh, a side character in um, a uh, you know a lead a battle angel. Yeah, he was a good cop. Yes, exactly. He was a good caught in mouth. Like whatever he's in, he's he's very good. But they either kill him off or they do something weird with him, or he's like a back character. It sort of sucks. But uh, moving forward, I, I, yo, this is really bad. Man. Right here, Snipes made a surprise appearance in Blade and Summer's R-rated smash hit uh, Deadpool and Wolverine, which grossed a 1.3 billion globally in the film. Eric uh, Eric Brooks cheekily tells him, "Merkel for mouth, there's only been one Blade. There will only ever be one Blade." So far, he's not wrong. That's true. Now, my opinion: bring back Wesley Snipes. Do a look if Wesley Snipes and Mahershala Ali were on are on screen and it's like two blades fucking shit up. Oh my god, dude, that would be so fucking cool. That would be so cool. If imagine two blades fucking shit up, that'd be super super cool. But we'll see what's gonna happen. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.